Good evening, fellows, fellow programmers. This is Pavel, and this is a C++ exercise uh, four, chapter four, exercise five from the book. Uh, starting out with C++ from control structures to objects, and again, this is a control structure exercise with uh, four if statements. And uh, we are going to calculate a, a body mass index, and then display a message whether the uh, person is underweight, overweight, or has an optimal weight. Uh, the exercise simply states that the formula for BMI, or uh, the body mass index, is weight times 703, that's like a constant, divided by height, multiplied by height, so in other words, height to the power of 2, which means height times height. That's what gives you height to the power of 2. And uh, the weight is going to be in... Uh, pounds and height in inches. This is the formula for pounds and inches. And um, uh, we will then, like I said, display the message for optimal underweight or overweight. So let's get started. I'm going to, we're going to be asking user for some input. So we will include IO stream. And um, well, we'll see what else we'll include later uh, if we need to. Oh well, we using namespace std of course. So let's uh, create a double BMI. I'll initialize it to zero. That's gonna be the result of the calculation. I will do integer weight. I just do integer. I don't need to get like you know 130 pounds, 130.5 pounds or something like that. So just integer and the same height because height again is in inches so you know we will do like 70 inches or something. All right so that's that and um, you know what I actually will imp import also include string because I will have a message that that will hold the appropriate answer the appropriate uh, classification of the person's BMI. So I will do a string, I'll call it message. And we can ask the user for the input again. Uh, not again, but of course, like for the first thing that we do usually is uh, we need to get some input in. Please enter your weight, uh, weight in pounds and height in inches and um, we can just do it all in one line I will do C in both weight and also the height so we won't ask again we will simply ask for both at the same time user enters one presses enter enters the others that's all we need to get from the user. So now let's calculate the actual BMI. Again, the formula is here. Weight, weight. So it's a weight, whatever the user entered. Uh, multiplied by, uh, what is it, 703. That's the constant, which is divided by height times height or you know what that that's that's correct that's a uh, height to the power of two but let's just do it the uh, more sciency weight let's just include another uh, library called cmath and we can actually do the power of two it has, it has a function poe pow which is power of and it could be it doesn't have to be power of two. It could be any power of, but uh, in our case, you pass the height and the power of two. You simply pass two. If you want the power of three, you would pass three. But we want power of two, of course. And uh, this is the formula. Let me spell. Let me spell weight over here. Actually, weight. And here as well, so weight and height. Okay, you have to tell me these things when I misspell. 
you know, words. All right, so let's go and do the if statement. So there's three possible outcomes, optimal, underweight, or overweight. So um, if it's, uh, we'll start from the lowest, because if you start from the highest, like uh, if the BMI is less than 25, well, you know, it could be both underweight or optimal because they both are under 25. So in this case, we will simply do one if statement, then else if statement, and then else statement, and cover all three options that way. So you will do if the BMI is less than 18.5, then we know that it's the underweight. So we will simply message will now equal to you are underweight. Okay, and uh, actually there's no end of line because this is just a string that I'm constructing and I'm not outputting it yet. So uh, else if the BMI is less or equal to 25, then we have the optimal way. Again, if BMI is between 18.5, which is included, and 25, which is included because we know that overweight is greater than 25, so it's 25.1. So uh, if it's greater, I mean, if it's less or equal to 25, the message will be that uh, your weight is optimal. And uh, finally, we know uh, the else, if it's not less than 18.5, and if it's not less or equal to 25, then it must be greater than 25. And if it is greater than 25, then the message will be you are overweight. But we don't have to check if it's greater than 25 because it simply must be. There is no other option. So else the message equals you are overweight. And all we have to do, we, we could have simply output the message right here. We could do C out right here on each of these statements, but we, we, we can do it over here at the end and simply C out the message. And all, all there is to it, uh, very simple. So let's build it. And uh, once it builds, hopefully there will be no uh, no bugs, uh, it compiled, so let's see. Please enter your weight in pounds and height in inches. So weight in pounds, uh, first let's make it underweight. So I'll just enter something like 100. And uh, the height, I don't know, 70 inches. And it says you are underweight. But you know what? Over here, when we see out the message, let me just do end of line so it doesn't get into the press any key statement you know uh, so it kind of is more readable so we build it again no problems so now let's try it with um, overweight so I'll do 200 pounds and again 70 inches and it says you are overweight and now let's try to fit into optimal weight uh, so I will do I don't know 140 pounds and 17 inches and it says your weight is optimal so uh, again we ask for the input for weight and height we will calculate the BMI using the math function to the power of 2 or you could just do height multiplied by height and then the simple if statement we start from the lowest is it a less than 80.5 no then go, try the next one is it less or equal to 25 Yes or no? If no, then just output the overweight. If it is, then the message will be your weight is optimal and this is skipped. And of course, if it is less than 18.5, then both else if and else statements are skipped. And the message simply says you are underweight. So this is the exercise uh, four, uh, chapter four, uh, exercise five. Uh, I hope uh, it helped you. If it did, leave a like share with your friends, leave a comment, and as always, I'll see you next time, and happy coding, take care.